Hey everybody, welcome back to Stoker Review for another Cigar Review, and this week I'm doing the Nestor Miranda Special Selection Exclusivo Regional, and this is a special cigar made for just the, mis the Midwest regions uh, for Miami Cigar Accounts, and they come in two sizes, a uh, Robusto Grande or a Robusto Extra, which is five and a half by fifty-four ring gauge, and also comes in a Toro Grande, which is a six by sixty. Now, both of those are, as you can see, a box press. Let's see if it'll focus in on that. That's good, but you can see that's a box press anyway. Anyway, basically, it has this. Uh, I believe it's the same blend as a special selection. It's a special size and. Um, it's a box press where the other ones are round. But other than that, the the, the binder uh, and filler are Nicaraguan, and the wrapper is the San Andreas uh, Mexican wrapper. So, anyway, I'll let you look at this cigar here. It's actually a really nice looking cigar. Really well constructed. Let's see if it'll focus a little bit better. And the cap fiddle focus. Not so much. Anyway, there you go. It's a really nice looking cigar. It has a really good feel to it. A lot of nice heft. Kind of like it a lot. Anyway, they retail for this one retails for um, eight dollar. Which is the uh, the Robusto Extra and the Toro Grande. Retails for about nine dollars, so really good price for these cigars. It has a really, really rich barnyard smell on it. I mean, it is pretty potent. You can smell it actually from a little bit ways off. You know, which we say, you know, in the cigar world, if it smells like shit, it's probably going to taste pretty good. As odd as that sounds, it's the truth. Anyway, let me go ahead and cut this here. I actually think I'm going to V-cut this thing. So, I like box press. The V-cut just goes perfectly. Let's see if I can do a double V-cut. Yep. Worked out pretty well. Just makes it like a deeper V-cut. But still keeping it nice and clean. Very earthy and leathery. It's pretty much what I get off the cold draw. Really good draw though. So actually, it's got a perfect draw. Really nice. You can spark this thing up. I've always loved these cigars, and probably my two favorite sizes is the uh, coffee break, which is a little. Um, Petite Corona, I think that's probably much the best bang for your buck on that one is a little coffee break. It's just such a great flavor, such a small cigar. It's really nice. You can see <laughs> it puts off a ton of smoke. Now, I've always been a really big fan of these, like I said, but this cigar is actually got a really great flavor. You get that nice little cocoa note the i've always got from these cigars but this one seems a little bit more i don't know i would say refined but that's not really the right word it's kind of like just smoother i mean huh. yeah it's almost like it has a really nice cocoa note, really smooth, sweet cocoa with a, with some nuttiness and some leather and some wood and a little bit of spice. It's not a whole lot of spice. Now, I don't remember this cigar being, you know, real spicy anyway, 
but it's actually been a while since I've had one of these. It's been probably at least over a year, so it's been a while, which it's not a good thing because I've always I really like these cigars. Yeah, this is it's got a really good little spice note that you really get it on the back of your palate. And it's almost like just an accent that kind of brings it all together, that, that spice. It's it's pretty nice. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and smoke this about the halfway point, and I'll be back to let you know how it is. I'll see you in a second. Yeah, right on the on screen, it dropped my ash. Anyway, about to the halfway point here. Really, really good flavors. I, this is one of the cigars I've, I've loved for a long time. Just a really good, solid smoke. It's not too overly complex, but the flavors are really, really good. I get that nice, sweet cocoa note. I also get um, nice woodiness to it, a little bit of leather. And about the after about the first inch or so, it takes on a nice caramel flavor and a nice amaretto flavor. It's really, really good. That spice in the amaretto really comes through when I retroheld the cigar. And I, I usually get that kind of that amaretto note on the other cigars, but for some reason this one, I get it pretty heavy on there. So that's kind of interesting. That's uh, something new for me. But anyway, just a solid smoke so far. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish this thing off, and I'll be back to let you know how it finishes. See you in a second. Everybody, I'm back. At the end of the cigar now. <clears throat> really good flavor. It kind of never didn't change too much, the, except that the sweetness died down, and a little bit more of the, the woodiness note came out of it. But it's just a really, really good cigar. I mean, for the price point, you really can't beat it, but that's kind of been... You know that the way the cigar this this line has been from its inception. I mean, it's been around for quite a while, and it's always been one of my favorites, just because it gives you such good flavor, and the price point's really good. And I actually, I'm thinking this might be my new favorite size, even though it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to get a hold of it, being in the South, and these are a Midwest exclusives. But I don't know. It's it just has really, really good flavor, and it's a good size, too. I mean, it's not, it's a little bit big, but it's not too big. It's, you know, five and a half by 54. That, I, I really enjoy that size. You know, I'm a real big fan of, you know, uh, 46 to 48 ring gauge, something around there. You know, Corona, Corona Gorda size, stuff like that. But when you get above a Robusto, you know, that's Robusto Taurus size, which is normally a 50, I really like that 54 ring gauge. Something about it, it just, I don't know, you get a, just a different flavor when you get that much more tobacco, but it's not so big that it's unwieldy like a 6x60 is. But I really enjoyed this cigar. For me, this is definitely a box worthy cigar, I mean, because it's got such great flavor, it's a good size, I, I'm a sucker for box press too, so that's always got something going for it, and the price is pretty cheap. I mean, this is only $8 retail. That's, that's what the MSRP is. So, I mean, it's a really, really good, good cigar for the money. But it's, like I said, the whole line's always been that way. It's been it's probably my favorite Miami cigar release. You know, the, of the Nessa Miranda special selection has always been one that I've really always enjoyed. And this is just another great extension of that. One that I definitely want to seek out and get some more of. So check them out if you're, especially if you're in the Midwest area. You know, you know, especially our Chicago viewers, definitely check this sucker out because you'll probably find them. But stellar smoke for the for the size. So check them out. If you've had them, let me know what you thought, or if you found them anywhere, put them in the comments where you found them, so any other you know watchers can you know know where to go pick them up at. So I'll see you next time.